Hey everyone, Dave here, and today we'll be checking out the official release to Daisy, an app lab success story and a legend from SideQuest being developed by just one person. I'm very much familiar with this title so much that I wanted to do a playthrough on it, and quite frankly at this point it's lost because I've recorded some stuff not long after the first video came out, which was essentially one year ago and I kept postponing to edit it. Unfortunately it is a thing with strategic games that it's just hard to convey it and clip it into one video, not including all the poses for thinking and strategizing and at this point it's just too late to release the footage so we'll just focus on the release today and I'm pretty happy for Tommy to finally get on the official store it's been a while. <laughs> so Daysim is a strategy sandbox god game where starting from zero you build up your own community, deciding all factors of their being like personal map layouts, providing resources, how they're gonna live and how they're gonna die. Daysim was very well known and still is in the VR community simply because it's been for so long here. Even outside the quest environment it was pretty much a staple game for this technology. It's also a very definition of don't judge the book by its cover. It might have simplistic graphics and stuff but the experience really makes up for it. The first time I played it I was like it's pretty cool right? The more and more accurate you get into it, it hooks you in a way that it's kind of addicting. It's like a quintessential god game because you literally decide every aspect of it and it just feels good to be in control. <laughs> Having said that one year is pretty long still, it had couple updates in the meantime and I wonder if my city is still alive at this point. Let's go back and terrorize those people. No, everything reset it. Okay, it's fine. It's better to start from the tutorial or just show you how it actually works. Essentially, we have miracles and like a power source. We throw it and then it kind of creates a land. At least it should. <laughs> oh, it has to be on an empty zone. Sorry. Last time I played it apparently was in April last year, so it's been a while. So they are gathering wood. It's kind of like a progressional system that they need to get resources in order to go further. <laughs> now they will build houses apparently, so I just need more land overall. And you see it's kind of like replenishing over time. Later on it's gonna be not a problem, but you'll run out of it very fast. Aha, uh -huh, the first enemy. <laughs> Hello! Oh my god. Were the controls that crazy before? <laughs> what are you looking at? I don't believe in you. Then get out! <laughs> no 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 no! <laughs> hey! Where's he? Some more wood, more forests they will build over time. Then it's kinda like every plane has its own capabilities. Like you put stone and it's gonna be different in every kind of like biome. We also need to build water that will be good like in the long run. Antique age. Okay. I think I reached renaissance or just when the UFOs were happening. <laughs> Miracles will kind of unlock over time with the eras. So there's just gonna be more stuff. Now it's just the beginning. Yeah, I'll move. I'll build more land further though, because sometimes, well not sometimes, <laughs> it's a thing that villages kind of create, but it's just kind of a random chance whenever they feel like they need meat. Well, I don't remember how it was. There were animals in the forest normally. Oh, see? I told you, it's like it's building randomly. So now you just expand your kingdom. <laughs> was there a certain combination? No, I don't have much to work with. I don't think it was low cost. Here we go. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> oh, omens and inspirations. I don't think I saw this. Also this. Okay, this is to deal it. Nice. Was there an animal in the water before? 
I don't think that counts as meat. <laughs> when they are hunting down stuff, I'll try to work on the forest biome. There is a point in the game that you get stuck with materials, but it's just because different biomes provide different stuff. So it's very important pretty much to have a variety. See, already the village is here. So they wanted it. What did they want? More wood. Okay, that will be fine. Meat. Fine. It gets like busier and busier with every step. That's why it's so addicting. It's like it just keeps going. <laughs> Numericals. We have desserts. Okay. Kind of fast. <laughs> like the progression. I guess because I know the game already. I'll build a dessert on the other side here. I don't really need it for now because I think they are good with jewelry. As far as I can remember. We also have mines. Yeah, that's gonna be a thing. The plains will have different mines. This desert as well, because it's gonna be like, I think, gold. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's get one mine here for now. This is gonna be copper, I believe. Here, I think we'll have iron. I don't remember. You just run out of stuff. And then in between the villages, there should be like transferring um, materials. I don't know when that kind of unlocks, but this is gonna be a thing. It's gonna be very important. I wanna try those omens though, because I don't know what it was doing. I guess be blessed, Jesus. Okay, so now they need fur, and that's gonna be from the ice with the polar bears. And that's how it's gonna transfer. Hey! <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> uh, it was rain. Oh my god. So fast. <laughs> I don't need to do a play for it anymore. It's just essentially everything in one video. <laughs> Polar bears, wood is going. Is it still burning? Oh, sorry. <laughs> and then regenerate. Magic. It's just gonna be more and more stuff to do and I can stop here because you know the gist. That's essentially why I love Daisy. It's just so much fun even though the graphics could be whatever. You're never bored here. And also it's not stupid like certain stuff have different interactions that you will find out while playing the game. Sometimes it's gonna take a while. I know stuff now but sometimes it took like one hour to figure it out how to like manage it. I love that it's now on the official store. Finally it gets the recognition it really deserves. That's pretty much my thoughts on it is just amazing. <laughs>